All right, so this video has been 20 years in the making. And when I say 20 years in the making, I mean that for over 20 years I've owned goldbay.com and I've had people asking me the same question week after week after week after week. And that is, they will send me an email with a rock that they found and they want to know if what they found was gold. And in over 20 years of doing this and answering hundreds of thousands of emails, the answer to whether they found gold or not has only happened one time. So I get 20, maybe 30 emails a week. Is this gold? Is this gold? Is this gold? And it's always when it's a rock. It's never just a natural raw nugget. It's always people sending me pictures of rocks and swearing that they think they found gold and they then get mad at me when I tell them that no, they don't have gold. So this video is to show you how to tell the difference between gold and then other things that are not gold. So far, every rock that I've shown you in this intro to this video is gold. Every one of these pieces has a very similar characteristic, and that is that it's actually gold color. If you take a piece of gold jewelry and you set it beside the specimen in question, you're going to see that the colors match. They are gold. And you can also see on this rock we have a grayer material that doesn't look anything like the ring beside it. And that happens to be arsenopyrite. So one of the very first tests that someone can do is get a gold ring or a gold chain and put it next to the rock that you found and see if they even come close to matching in color. One of the rocks that I get pictures of all the time is iron pyrite. Now, if you look at this piece of iron pyrite and you look at this gold ring, or you look at this other gold ring, you'll see that iron pyrite is kind of a silvery gray color and doesn't look anything like gold. Now there is one type of pyrite that can confuse people and that is chalcopyrite. Let's zoom in on this. So chalcopyrite is a pyrite that contains copper in a mineral form. And it can sometimes closely resemble the color of gold but most of the time it's pretty apparent that it's not gold. Now you can see in this specimen it's quartz crystals along with the pyrite and you'll see that there is some crystal shape to it so it can fool people as far as whether it's crystallized gold or not but once you have a piece of chalcopyrite and then you put it next to a piece of gold you'll see that they aren't even close to the same color. So gold is gold. It's not gray. It's not black. It's not green. It's not anything other than gold. Here's another piece of chalcopyrite. Again, it has a gold tint to it, but you can see that the actual pyrite itself has discoloration or it has different shades of gold on it. That's one of the key indicators that it is a mineral of chalcopyrite. When you look at gold next to the chalcopyrite, you'll see that the gold is consistent in color all the way across it. It has no discolorations on the actual gold metal part itself. The rock does, but the actual gold does not. And And then one of the other rocks that I get is people send me pictures of a rusty color rock all the time. So this is just a dirty, rusty rock. And I get pictures of this kind of stuff all the time. People think that this rusty color is gold. Now, why am I showing you a rusty rock? The reason I'm showing you this particular rusty rock is because this particular rusty rock does actually have gold on it. And we want to show you what the gold looks like compared to the rust. 
So I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see that you have yellow metal particles coming out of that rusty area. You'll see that they shine. And that is one of the characteristics of gold is that it's shiny. It doesn't glitter. It shines. So this rock does have a small bit of gold coming out this one end and you can see that even in the shade like you can see that I'm turning it into the light and out of the light even in the shade the gold part of it is shiny and gold does do that gold will still shine in the shade so this last piece is going to confuse the heck out of you but it also might clear some stuff up this specimen is from the Scott River area of California and it is a combination of pyrite which is fool's gold and gold on the same specimen it's a fairly rare occurrence but it does happen and i'm going to zoom in on this and see if you can tell the difference between the gold and the pyrite let's focus that can you see the difference between the colors can you distinctly see gold versus the gray pyrite so the easiest test before you send an email before you start asking questions before you start doing the research is take a piece of jewelry that you know is gold jewelry place it next to your sample and see if the color matches and you can see here in this little shot that it's real easy to tell the difference between the grayish pyrite or fool's gold and the gold. Hope this helps.